Welcome to Sandstorm. This is a mysterious little game. It pretty much just dumps you in the desert and says, good luck. Which is really interesting because most games don't do that. Usually there's a certain amount of hand-holding or some sort of a tutorial or something like that. They typically try to welcome the player and say, this is how to play me. So when a game comes along that just dumps you into its world and says, try to figure it out, I'm not going to help you. It's really interesting. It can be frustrating, but it also makes it really, really satisfying when you kind of poke and prod around the world and discover things completely on your own. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm looking forward to poking around the world and trying to figure out how everything works. And I've deliberately only played a very small amount of this game to preserve that sense of discovery. So I've only played for about five minutes so far. If you'd like to play this game for yourself, you can grab it for $3, and I'll have a link in the description for that. All right, let's set off into the desert. Let's begin. So here we are. I've got a cart. I've got myself. I have a desert where there's a horrible sandstorm and I can barely see anything. And also, my camel is wandering off. Let me go grab it. Before it gets too far. Come with me. Let's chain it up to the cart here. Tie it up to the guard, I suppose chain's not the right word. Despite my warding charms, the sandstorm has arrived. I estimate I am still a few days west of Mount Distant. If I do not survive, I hope that these letters find someone so that others may know of my journey. And if you are following my long gone footsteps, good luck. So this is, I guess, the only direction you get in the beginning of the game, pretty much, in terms of what your quest is. So I'm on some sort of a pilgrimage, and I'm west, a couple days west of Mount Distant. So I believe I just need to head east for long enough, and then I'll finally get there, I think. Oh god. Oh no. Where? Oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Yeah, so the view constantly, like, spins around, and it's really dis disorientating. And the sandstorm makes it hard to see, so it's really easy to get lost. And you can put down little flags to uh, guide your way back, which is really important, I think. All right, and the uh, thing in the middle of the screen up top, I believe that indicates how much of the day has passed. So that's day one, and that's the sun getting closer to nighttime, getting closer to setting. So let's head off and wait a minute. You know what? When I played for about five minutes, I think my game saved. Or did it? I feel like it did. Because I thought I had to pick up... Like, I have a compass in the top right of the screen. And some other thing there. I think I, ha I had to pick that up. When I first played. So I think it saved my progress. That's really it, though. I just picked those things up and that was the extent of it. And I have no idea how to reset, so I guess I'll just stick with it. And then you wake up the next day. The same way you woke up the first day. With no damn clue where you are. Actually, wait a minute. The first time I played, I did have to pick those things up. But the thing is, it said day one. And now it says day two, so maybe it did reset. I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, the first time I played when I woke up, those necklaces were just on the ground around me. And I picked them up. Alright, so I need to find my camel. So I need to put these things down, and I need to be careful. There you are. Come back. Come <laughs> back. 
<laughs> I don't think it likes to be led around. Now you can find things. I know there's things to find. There's letters and I think there's even like beasts. There's some sort of a bestiary in the main menu. I don't know if they hurt you or they're just like strange creatures you come across. I'm not sure. But anyway, okay, so I need to head east. And if you look at the compass in the top right of the screen, it's moving around all the time as the view is rotating. So east is roughly to the right of the screen, I believe. Since obviously up should be north. But since the view is constantly rotating, I think I need to kind of keep going diagonally to compensate when the view rotates. So like right now I'm going up to the right, and now it's switching the other way, so I'm going a little bit down, just to try to make it roughly east. And as you're traveling, time actually speeds up if you look at the uh, top center of the screen. So if you don't move, time passes relatively slowly. And then once you start moving, it starts speeding up. I have no idea if I need, like, food or water or what. I have no idea. It feels almost like Groundhog Day or something. Losing track of time almost, just waking up to the blistering sand and sun. Where did my camel get off to? Uh, can't be that far, can it? You can follow your footsteps back to where you came from, but they disappear really quickly. Because the sand covers it up. So you can't rely upon them. Oh, there you are. Come here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. My compass isn't working. Is this... Wait, why is it not working? Is it too much of a sandstorm to, like, tell? But wait, <laughs> a sandstorm shouldn't affect the compass, should it? Oh, God. So what's better? Is it better to go in a direction and perhaps be heading in the opposite direction that I want to go? Or should I just stay put? Look at the view, just rotating almost 360 around. I have no idea which direction is east. And by the way, there's some pretty cool little UI details that you might not have noticed. If I move my character to the left, the, uh, the, f the flagpole marker things on the UI in the top left, they actually rotate, they, they sort of like shift in the direction that I'm moving. So if I move my character to the left, you can see they all shift to the left, and then to the right. And then same with the uh, the necklace in the top right of the screen. It moves back and forth depending on which direction I'm going. It's a really cool little detail. Okay, uh, I, I'm not going to move. I don't know where east is. I'm going to have to sit this out, so uh, I'm just going to put down flags and... Oh my god, look at the wind. You can see it fluttering around the, the tops of these poles. I'm going to be really careful, and I'm just going to look for something, anything I can find out here. And I thought the sandstorm from before was bad. Jeez. This is really bad. Ooh, there's a tree. And of course, it's completely dead. Just like I'll be very soon. This game just looks really good, and it it just controls really well, too. Like, it's really satisfying to control. Everything's very snappy, and it, it just feels good. The movement of the character and everything. I'm actually playing this on a controller, by the way. It recommended an Xbox 360 controller, and I can see why. It controls really nicely. C 
God, there's nothing out here. And that other thing in the top right, by the way. Picture of a... I don't even know what that is. It looks like the skeleton of some sort of a creature. I have no idea what that actually is. Nor do I know why it's shaking. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I lost my compass, I guess. It wasn't because of the sandstorm. Okay, we can finally go. Unfortunately, I wasted, like, half the day. Um, oh, there's a bar in the bottom of the screen that I didn't realize before. I think that shows my progress to Mount Distant. Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm like a third of the way there. The sandstorm doesn't seem too bad today. Where are you, camel? There you are. Ooh, wait, there's something out there. What is that? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just going to set off in a random direction. I'm just curious if you can find anything out here. Hmm. I can't go very far. Too dangerous. Alright, let's go. I love the suddenness with which you wake. Just like, boom. And then you're awake. Suddenly, blinding light. Ooh, I see tracks. There you are. Come back here. No, I lost another part of my necklace. Yeah, I don't know what time of day it is. Alright, I need to find it. This isn't it, is it? No. I don't need that, technically, but I want it. God, where did it go? Is it around camp, or do I have to retrace my, retrace my steps and go west? Okay, I think I might have to leave it behind. Let me try one more time. Let's just go this way. It's like the one major direction I haven't checked yet. Oh god, alright, I think we're gonna leave it behind. I don't think I need it. Although now I can't tell my progress, right? Because the bar isn't there on the bottom of the screen, although maybe that only shows up when you... Oh, it only shows up when you get on this thing. Alright, here we go. 
no idea what time of day it is, other than it's obviously not nighttime. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a note. I'm starting to see why the locals were so insistent on telling me one of their dragon charms. At first I found its constant buzzing an amusing novelty, but now I can't live without it. Oh, that's what that thing is. It's a dragon charm. It's incessant buzzing. It doesn't seem to be buzzing anymore. In fact, the icons changed. I don't know why. Weird. Am I gonna get attacked by a dragon? I feel like it's a world of... magic. Oh god, am I missing a wheel? Why is there a wheel in the sand? Oh, and I'm missing my co oh my god, I'm missing my compass, I'm missing a wheel, this is bad, I'm missing my camel. Or maybe that's a wheel from somebody else. I, I can't pick it up. Alright, we need everything. Jesus Christ. Where's my stuff? I almost lost my camel for good, but luckily the greedy bastard stopped to eat the passing Sandsprout Blossom, and I was able to track him that way. Sandsprout Blossom. Okay. So maybe it went off to munch on some plants. Ooh, I saw something above me. And that's... Oh, that's a dragon charm. This is actually a continuous world, isn't it? Because this is what I just read before I ended the night. It is a continuous world. I don't think it's actually level-based. Okay. I have the compass. That's the most important thing. Well. <laughs> one of the most important things. It, it probably is the most important thing, but I think my camel is probably the second most important. So where are you? Looking for plants or tracks? I'm gonna eat up half the day just looking for my freaking camel. I don't know if it's possible to die in this game. I don't see any, any indication of food or hunger. I saw some grass over here, didn't I? Oh, right here. No camel. I have to be really careful with the placement of my poles, because um, at any moment, if I lose track of my poles, I, I could just be completely lost and I'll never find the card ever again. Oh my god, Camel, where are you? Where are you? Forgive me, Anna. Well, that's not good. That's not what I want to read. Okay, I, I think it just headed in every major, major direction and I didn't find it. Where is it? Um, crap. I put that too far away from this. I'm literally going to eat up the whole day just trying to do this. Oh, there you are. You little... Oh. I want to insult you, but I really, really need you, so I won't. Now don't go munching on plants, okay? Stay. Bad dog. Bad. Anything out here? No. Okay, let's go. Making a late start.
I think we're actually pretty close. Looks like we're about 75% there. Okay, I still have my compass. That's good. My sun metal is gone, now too. Like everything else, it blew away in the night and has been consumed by this blinding sand. I'm certain last night's knot was tied correctly. Perhaps this miserable camel is smarter than I assumed. Hopefully he has not gone far. By the way, I noticed that the year is torn off of every note. Notice that? I guess they're leaving it ambiguous as to what time this game actually takes place in. Another day, another camel wandering off into the blinding sand. I'm not sure if these are notes left by... Well, no, these can't be notes left by me, can they? So they have to be other adventurers. Ooh, hello. Oh, crap. Do I have enough of these? Um, I'm going to use the book as, like, a post. Or the, the note as a post. All right, what is this? I would say it's a well, but I don't know. I can't seem to do anything with it. Hmm. Okay, north south, let's go. East. Oh, come on, Camel. Where are you? I need you. I wonder if I can walk there. Like, if I just don't take my Camel, can I just walk to the east? It would be very slow, but... It's better than roasting out here. All right. Let's go backwards. Hmm. I've got to try the diagonals now. Cardinal directions are just not cutting it. Oh god, it's becoming nighttime. What if I go to sleep without my camel? Does it wander further off? Oh god, I really want to find my camel. I really want to find my camel. I don't care if we really go anywhere, I just want my camel. Otherwise, I think it might be gone forever. Camel? Shit. Oh god. I think I already read that. I'm not gonna stop. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I'm gonna risk it a little bit here. I can follow my footsteps back, okay. There's no time left. I can't get it before the night. I don't know what that means. It can't be good. <sighs> I don't want to end the night away from my cart. I might completely lose it. 
Okay, hopefully this doesn't mean I die. That, that might be the end of my journey. I don't know what happens. Oh god. My card's gone. My compass is gone. What is that? Is that telling me to restart? Like, that's showing me the back button, right? The storm has mostly subsided. But I am now more lost than ever. My camel is gone. My cart is gone. All my supplies are gone. Even Mount Distant is nowhere on the horizon. Oh. That's it, isn't it? It's over. It's over. So close, I just couldn't find my damn camel. Alright, I'm gonna play another one, but um, let me just show you some of the other stuff that's here. There's the uh, the credits, and here's the bestiary, which at the moment I think... Oh, collect ten letters to unlock. Complete the game to unlock, so yeah, so there's other stuff here. Secrets discovered, which I think that means zero. Wait, what did I just do? Did I just start the game? I didn't mean to start the game. Stop. Stop! Then you can also read over the notes. So, 7 out of 20 letters recovered. So you can go back and review them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the menu also controls really well. Like, this game just feels really good to control. Because I'm using the thumbsticks to just, like, slide between these different things. They make a nice little kind of paper crumpling sound as you do so. Just a really satisfying game to play. Alright, let's begin again, shall we? So this time I'm going to be more aggressive with finding my camel, because if I lose my camel, it's over. That's it. Alright, I'm immediately going to grab you and tie you to my cart. You mischievous little untying knot bastard. It was not grammatically correct, but I don't care. That's the introduction letter. Alright, let's go. I see steps, so I think, yep, there it is. Come with me. I know, you hate me. Too damn bad, we're stuck together. Uh, dragon charms, alright, I already found that note. I'm not gonna go wandering around, we're just gonna, well, we're on a mission, we're just gonna go. Making good progress. I think we got to about 35, 40% there. Alright, Camel, where did you go? There you are, come here.
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm missing my... I'm missing a bunch of my stuff. Holy crap, I just realized that. Alright, that's the sun thing. That's great, but I really need my compass. Crap. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I think that's it. Okay. We're good. I can't get anywhere without my compass. making really good time. Finish there about 60, 65%. Alright, camel. Camel. I don't think it goes super far. I'm not sure if it's worth actually using up all of my markers and going that far. Maybe use up like half of them. Oh, I'm missing my stuff. Hold on. I'm missing all my stuff again. Oh great, I have the sun back. I don't care. I need my damn compass. Alright, I should probably find the camel, because then I can travel faster to try to find the compass. I think it wanders further and further, the more you travel, though. Hello. After a brief survey, the local flora seems to be made up of dustweed, sand sprout, and the occasional rockwood. The beautiful and elusive sunrose has yet to make an appearance, but I am still hopeful. I can't even remember which directions I've gone now. I think I went north and south, but other than that, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Compass back. That's good. Very, 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 very good. God damn it, camel. Come on. And it moves around, too, so even if it was in one direction, it could be in a different direction now. So maybe I need to revisit areas I've already looked. I don't know. I need it. If I don't find it before nightfall, I'm dead. even near it, I should be able to find it because of the, the tracks that it leaves. Oh my god. I wish I had like a camel whistle. Isn't that the note I just found? So I just went back to the same place I was? Oh god. Yep. No. Half the day is already gone. Come on. Gonna head a little bit further. I don't think it'd be this far. I doubt it. Wait, what did I see something? No. I have no idea. I felt like I've searched every direction. Shit. Oh 
god. I'm gonna die again. I wonder if there's something I can find or something I can do to make my camel not go as far, or preferably not even escape at all. Maybe it's unhappy with me? Maybe I need to feed it? Like stop at grass patches to feed it or something? Come on, you stupid animal. Where are you? Please. Oh, Jesus. I have time to search one more direction. I'm not even going to turn back. There's no point. If I turn back, I'm dead. I need to find it right now. And then hope I can find my way back to the cart. How far did you go? Oh. It's over. That's it. Man. Alright. One more try for now. There's gotta be something you can do. Like, I'm, I'm really hoping there's something I can do. Other than just, like, pure luck. I'm really hoping there's something I can do to keep my camel connected to the cart or some way to find it easier. I don't know. I'm wondering if I can stop at grass patches and, like, have it eat or something. And maybe that'd make it happier and it wouldn't want to run away from me all the time or something? I don't know. So, let's try it. I actually don't even know what camels eat. I'm just assuming they eat plant matter, but I'm not really sure. Hello, you can eat. Do you want to eat? You don't want to? You don't want to eat? Oh, it can't go backwards. It can only go forwards. Awkward. Camels don't have a reverse button. Eat. Or something. Uh, alright. I don't think you can feed it. Although, maybe if I found, like, that well or whatever. Maybe that's like a watering hole. Maybe it could drink from that or something. I don't know. Because I couldn't seem to interact with that myself, but maybe it could. I'm missing my sun thing, but I don't need that. I want it, though. But I'm wondering if maybe just racing ahead straight to the objective is maybe not the way to go. Like, maybe if you do that, you miss stuff that you need. Like something to help me with a camel. I don't know. I really don't know what, what there is to find out there. Need to put like a freaking GPS tracker on my camel.
Alright, about 40%. I am missing... lots of stuff. My most important things. Alright, at least I got you. Oh, come back. Alright, I'm just gonna attach you and then grab the flags after. I'm going to use you to go around and try to find the stuff. There's the thing. Cool. Don't know which one that is. Compass? Alright. That's really all I need. I don't really care about the dragon charm, although maybe I need it. I, maybe if I have the dragon charm, the camel won't run away. I don't know. Unfortunately, the camel can't go backwards, so actually it's not as good at searching for that stuff as I thought. Uh, yeah, I think it's gone. I can't waste time walking back there. Alright, let's just go. The dragon charm actually might be the thing. That might be the thing that affects how far the camel runs away from you. Maybe. Have all my instruments. That's good. I awake suddenly in the middle of the night. It must have been a nightmare, but I was sure I could feel hands. So many hands. Crawling over my face and body. Ugh. Alright, I'm going to try a new strat here. My footsteps do actually last for a while, so I'm actually not going to put down flags. Does it go out like, uh, the spokes from a wheel or something? Don't do this to me again. I feel like there's a certain point around like 75% through the journey where the camel just completely deserts me. Maybe it is the charm. Maybe it doesn't find me charming enough. I've almost searched every single direction now. Where is it? Did it get buried in the sand? Do I need to dig it up again? Footsteps. Uh, uh, okay, I'm good. Almost lost him. Oh, 
Oh, thank God. Come here. Change direction. All right, we're good. Not gonna make any damn progress for the day, really. But whew, finally found you. Come on, let's go. All right, I think my bicycle spoke. Method of searching for it, searching for the camel, seems pretty good. It's a little bit risky, but I really need to find the camel. Alright, oh god, I'm losing- oh, I've lost everything. Great. Alright. Spoke pattern. Engage. Oh, alright. Uh, it's not the compass, but... I'll take it. Alright, just stay there for now. I saw a note down here, and I really need to find the compass. I've heard that the towering furnace can turn sand into crystalline, crystalline glass. I hope that is true. How I wish to see this desert turned into a blinding mirror, ending this unholy storm. Oh god. Footsteps. Oh god. Oh, we're good. That's the problem with uh, stopping to read a note. Time continues to pass while you're reading. I'm not going any damn where without a compass. Come on. I need a compass to find my compass. You know, I wonder if it tends to be back where you came from, because you lost it on the trail. So maybe I should go west, but then again, where is west? Because I don't have my compass to tell. Normally it's to the left of the screen, but I don't know if that has any meaning when you don't have your compass. It might be completely irrelevant. Uh, I don't know if I have time to read this. Oh, I've already read that. If I go to sleep and I haven't found my compass, doesn't that mean that I've lost it for good? Oh, ooh, ooh, oh, thank god, there it is. Yeah, so progress gets a lot harder as you go on, because you spend most of the day just looking for your stuff. You barely have any time. I'm almost at about 80%. And my compass is gone again. Alright, spoke pattern. Whoa. Hold on. Ooh, I just I just saw my compass. I'm just gonna put those down just to make sure I don't get lost. Alright, that's good. Oh yeah, and when you pick up the compass, it reorients reorients yourself. Cool. Is that the um the rare flower? What was it called? Oh, what did I just do? Did I just like... Did I just like kill it or something? I think I just picked the flower or something. Or maybe that means secret found? I don't know. Anyway, I need to find my camel. Camel, 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 camel. gonna put one down for safety because early on becomes late on when you're coming back and that tends to be where the tracks disappear
I haven't given up hope. We're not quite halfway through the day. Still plenty of time. Ooh. Thank God. Alright, my tracks are starting to disappear and I move slower with the camel on me. Um... No, we should be okay. Yeah, there it is. Alright, and we still have half the day to move. Okay. If we get two more days like this, I think we can make it. Let's go. Yeah, I'm about 90%. Maybe even slightly higher. If we get one decent day, at least decent, I can make it. Okay, I still have my compass. I don't need the sun, that's fine. I have my compass, that's all I need. I can make it. I just need to find my camel, and then I'm getting out of here. Oh, well. If it's there, I might as well take it. There's a note. Uh, I don't have time. I'm not going to risk it. Definitely one continuous level, because that's where I just was. Since it does seem to go further and further, and given how late I am in the game, it could be very far away from me. And that would not surprise me. I'm actually going to put these down, because if I do find the camel, I move slower with it. So I think I'm going to need these to get back, because I won't have enough time to follow my tracks. Come on, if I can just find him. I just need to find him this one day, and then we'll make it. Please, I beg you, gods of the desert. The day has passed. Even if I find it now, I don't know if I have enough time to make it.
Oh god, this is not good. This is really not good. I'm 75% through the day. I've searched in almost every direction. Not quite every single direction, but almost. It's getting dark. I think this is like the last major direction I have not searched. It's always in the last place you look, huh? <gasps> oh, thank God. Thank God. God, you know, do I even pick up my sticks or do I just put them on and go? Do I have enough time to make it? I don't think I do. I'm going for it. No, I don't have enough time. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. In fact, do I even have enough time to pick up every stick? Yeah, I got time. Yeah, there's no way I had enough time to actually get there. Because time's going to speed up as soon as I start moving. I would just be screwing myself for the next day. compass is missing. Fuck. I must be so close, but the storm has not given me so much as a glimpse of the mountain for days now. Please be the compass. Please be the compass. Okay, I don't care about anything else other than the gamble, obviously. Alright. Search pattern. Engage. Come on, camel. I don't know what time of day it is. That's not good, but it doesn't really matter. I feel like I keep getting really unlucky, like I keep finding the camel right at the end of the day. I could use some good luck for once, please. Anytime I see a tree or something pop up, I'm like, oh my god, is it a camel? No, it's not a camel. There's that little jump in my heart, like, oh my god, I'm, I might be saved. And then the crushing feeling of disappointment. Again. I guess I didn't go very far, did I? I went like two feet during the night. I can hear like a snort in the distance, but I don't know. I might just be hearing things. Not stopping to read that. I 
I feel like it's getting darker. Is it? It really feels like it's getting darker. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm not stopping to pick up my sticks. I'm going and we're just going. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Can we? It really does seem like it's getting dark, doesn't it? If I go out without my sticks and I don't make it this night, I'm screwed the next. Should I go? I'm going for it. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <gasps> oh. Did we make it? Uh, I don't think we made it. I was like literally on the end. Shit. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I have no sticks. Fuck. I was so close, I was literally touching the end. I need my compass and I need my camel. I barely even have enough time to find the camel the past two days, let alone my compass too. And with no sticks. Jesus. I'm dead. I'm like two feet from the mountain, I think, and I'm dead. Couldn't we have just kept going during the night? This is really bad. No compass, no co Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Oh god, I'm not gonna be able to bring it back. <gasps> this is gonna be really hard. Oh god. My footsteps are going to be gone. I need to get the general direction and, like, average the direction and keep it even while everything's spinning. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm heading the right direction. Fuck. Thank God. Okay, that's good. I don't have the compass, though. I don't know where east is. I need to find the compass. That's a note. It's not a compass. I can't just head in a random direction. I might be going backwards. I don't even... Can you even make progress? You can't. Wait a minute. Maybe... Is it going to tell me if I'm... Going backwards or forwards? I'm just looking at the thing. Am I, am I going forwards? Backwards? I don't know. Does this matter? I think I might just be screwing myself here. Fuck. I'm just screwing myself. It doesn't do anything, does it? If you don't have the compass, I don't think you make progress. Fuck. I think I already went too far. I don't think I can find the compass now. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. And there's one of my sticks, but it doesn't matter. I think we're good. I, th I think we're good. As long as I don't get lost on my way back. And my footsteps are fucking gone. Oh, God. No, we're good. Oh, oh, okay. East, east. We're there. Look, look at the bar. The bar is gone. We're at the end. We're not even moving anymore. We're there, right? Did we make it? <gasps> Look at it. It's beautiful.
After a long and trying journey, my pilgrimage is over. My portudinous camel and I have left the desert behind and have reached Mount Distant. I am glad to have come. May the thirst of Anna endure. Difficulty, Wanderer. Oh wait, you can set it? Wanderer, a gentle breeze blows around you. You pull your coat closer. One time completed. Traveler, the wind whip, uh, the winds whip past you. You shield your eyes with your hand. Navigator, the storm is everywhere. You feel it consuming you. Pilgrim, the storm destroys you. Good luck, you will not survive. Oh my god. It took me like three tries and an hour, and I barely, just like clinging on to the slightest thread, just managed to actually complete it with Wanderer. And there's three more difficult options. Traveler, Navigator, and Pilgrim. Oh my god. That's insane. Thank you for playing. Oh, look at that goofy little smiley face at the bottom. Alright, that was a freaking cool game. And it's not even really the end, necessarily. I mean, I still missed, like, ha at least half the notes. And I think I found maybe one secret. In fact, let's go take a look at that. Bestiary Sand Shark. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Could you use the Sand Shark as your mount? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> Is this like FTL, where you complete it and you unlock ships, and then you can use the ships for the higher difficulty levels or whatnot? I think that's how it worked, in FTL. That's freaking awesome! Secrets discovered. Yeah, so I just found that one secret. Uh, did I just start the game? I think I may have just accidentally started the game again. Oh no, here we go. Now, where's the notes? Uh, oh, I've got 12 out of 20 letters. Okay. Yeah, so there's still a lot left to this game. I f it seems like there's different mounts, and there's definitely different difficulty settings. There's many more secrets to discover. Yeah, this is a really cool game. It's still very mysterious. It doesn't tell you why you're making a pilgrimage. Or really what any of this stuff is about. You're just... A man in the desert with a camel. And the blinding sandstorms around you. With a simple goal. And why is he going on a pilgrimage? I don't know. Seems like Anna... Somebody named Anna might be involved. Based on the notes that I found. Who knows? It's really intriguing, though. And I love that it just puts you out there in the desert and doesn't tell you what to do, really, other than kind of just how to control your character. But aside from that, it's up to you to figure out how to play. It's really interesting. It felt very... that victory at the end felt really satisfying. Because everything I did beforehand just kind of culminated in that moment. You know, I made the dash for the end goal, and I left my poles behind. Knowing that if I didn't make it, the chance of success after that was very low without my poles. And I didn't make it, but I just barely managed to get everything together without the poles and didn't lose my way back to my card. Oh, that was a close call. That was scary. Yeah, that was just freaking awesome. And this game has a great soundtrack. A really good soundtrack. And everything just looks and uh, especially plays really well. Like, it just, everything feels good when you're swapping between things and character movement and the interactions. It just feels really good. 
Just even just swapping between the panels in the main menu feels good. And the little UI details, like if you move to the left, every, the, some of the stuff on your UI kind of tilts to the left as if it's blowing in the breeze or something. Yeah, it just... It's a really polished experience. Everything just feels polished. The interactions, the graphics, the sound. So this is really quite a treat. I mean, this game seems to be practically unknown. I don't think there's that much press about it out there, but it really deserves to be better known because it's really good. Really, really good. Once again, if you'd like to play this for yourself, I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out. Thank you for joining me on my journey through the desert.